welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so i started this series on on size charts basically which we are going to have the female size charts the male size charts and the children's size charts and i'm filming all the size charts today hence the reason why you are going to see all the size charts with the same outfits okay now i'm also going to say that in the children's size chart, which is what this video entails, we also have three series for the children's size chart. Now, the first part of this video is where I talked about the bust, the chest, rather, children have chest, not bust. The chest, the waist, the hip, and the shoulder measurements in the first part of this video, which the link is also going to be in the description box below. So this video is the second part of the serial. Now, we have our neckline, we have our armhole, our waist to neck to waist and our sleeve so the reason why i split this video is because i don't want the video to be too long if i'm to film all the children's size charts in one video it might be above one hour so that is why i am breaking it down and that is why you'll be seeing all the videos with the same outfit so now like i said earlier please go ahead and follow me on facebook tg designs on instagram tg designs and also visit our website all the links are going to be in the description box below we also have amazing fashion we also have amazing fashion tutorial on our facebook page please go ahead and join us and the link is also going to be in the description box below so let's go ahead now and get our calculation so for this children's size chart we have our extra small small medium large extra large extra extra large four five six now basically you discover that in as much as we are dealing with children's size charts i did not use age and that is because two children on born on the same day might not be the same size so when it comes to children outfits using their age to get their dress might not really give you the accurate dress you need to know the size of the child so because your child can be two years old with another child who is two years old and they might not be the same size one of them can be small while the other one can be extra extra large so age is not a factor to determine the size of a children's dress and let me know if you relate to that in the comment section i'm sure all my mommies and my grandma can relate to that please go ahead and put down the comments in the description box in the comment box below so let's go ahead now and get it done so let's go ahead now so our neck one thing about neck when you are getting neck measurement for children is that it is quite different from the women's size charts when it comes to women's size charts you can expose your chest you can open up your measurements you can use as many inches as possible for your neck but when it comes to children please try to limit their neck measurement because you don't want to expose your children to you know um cold outside and generally children dresses are always like very fitted very close to their neckline you know it's very rare to see like a child dress being very exposed at the shoulder part because of cold and every other thing i hope you guys get that so let's just go ahead now so our neck now for a newborn we have 7.75 7.75 inches for extra large we have eight inches for small we have eight inches for medium we have 8.5 inches for medium we have 8.5 inches for large we have nine inches for extra large we have 9.5 for extra extra large we have 10.5 for number four we have 11 five we have 11.5 and for number six we have 11 .6. so this is the neck measurement and of course by the time you want to cut it you will still go ahead and divide the measurement by two which because your fabric is folded into this is what we have this is what we have for the neck i know i know you might want to say that oh the neck is too much for a child please just hold on when we get to the shoulder part i will explain it better so just hold on hold on in the previous video i talked about shoulder right but in this video now i have to bring up the shoulder measurements so that you guys will understand the neck part 
of it you can see that eight inches might be too much eight inches is actually too much for a child of small so just hold on i will explain it better so the next one now we have is the arm o the next one we have is the arm o so the arm o for a newborn we have 2.5 for extra small we have 3.25 stop that thing. we have 3.25 for small we have 3.5 for medium we have 3.75 for large we have 4 inches for extra large we have 4.25 for extra extra large we have 5 for 4 we have 5.25 for 5 we have 5.5 and for 6 we have 5.75 so basically when it comes to your ammo or the ammo of children measurement we're basically just adding you know points to five we're adding point two five because it is ammo and their ammos are really very small another reason why we did not add so much measurements to the ammo is because children don't have christian mother hand yet like the human like female body size chart you get so for mothers the reason why our ammo is big is because a lot of us have this christian mother stop that noise the reason why for female the size ammo is usually big is because a lot of us have christian mother hand why for children their hands <laughs> are almost the same you get what i'm trying to say that is why the ammo is pretty small so the next one now is our neck to waist which is also shoulder to waist so what do you need your shoulder to waist for if you are making a ball dress for your children or for children generally you need your shoulder to waist this enables you to know where you have your basic dress and then the lower part where you have your length so now let's go ahead now and get it i'll also give you guys an illustration also so for the neck to waist now for newborn we have 10 for extra small we have 10.5 for small we have 11.5 for medium we have 12 for large we have 14 for extra large we have 17 for extra extra large we have 18 for four we have 19 20.5 22 inches So this is basically what we have so the next one now like I said the reason why I added my shoulder to this tutorial in as much as we have it in the first one is so that I can explain the neck part better so let's go ahead now with the shoulder our shoulder for newborn is 7 for extra small we have 7.25 for small we have 7.75 for medium we have 8 for large we have 8.5 for extra large we have 9 9.5 10 10.5 and 11 so we've have our, we have our shoulder now and then we have our neckline now this is where you know you be able, enable you to get your exact neckline from so this neckline measurement here is basically from you know like your shoulder up to the neckline like i said you're only taking away just little for neckline when it comes to children so if your neck is 7.5 and the child's shoulder is 7 it simply means that for a newborn what you are going to measure for the neck is just 7.5 it's just 7.5 so when you have seven inches for the shoulder what you are going to take out for the neckline is just 0.7.5 do you guys get it please put that your question in the comment section now we have eight inches we have eight inches we have 7.25 what you have to do now is your 7.25 from your eight inches what you have is what you take away for your neck the next one 7.75 and you have eight inches so in this point now what you are going to take away for your neck is just one inch it's just one inch you take away for the neck now the shoulder you can just go like for let's use this big size we have 11 we have 0.6 
you all you have nice to the dogs and then you have point six which is like half so this is for the wideness the wideness this way that's what we are talking about when we are talking about neckline for the deepness it depends on how fat or small your child is however even though you know the wideness for deepness of a child is usually from half inch to two inch it's not really deep you don't have a deep neckline for children so you can just take for an example for a newborn you have 0.75 so you can just do 0.75 by the wideness this way and for the deepness you can just do 0.2 and you get your round neck okay i'm not sure you guys can see it, but let me just explain it here now so now say we have 0 0.75 0 0.75 can be for the deep for the wideness this way and for the deepness you can just take 0 0.2 so you mark your 0 0.2 here yes 0 0.75 and then you just get your arm off you just get your neckline rather you just get your neckline so that is it basically the neckline is actually very very small so let me just do like a very good illustration here because i want you guys to get it clearly i'm just going to go ahead now and just draw um randomly so this is just a random measurement right now i'm going to clean up this part do you know why I'm cleaning up this part? Because I want to extend the neckline with this part. So I'll go ahead now and clean up this part. This is the arm O. This is the shoulder. This is the shoulder. This is the arm O. Okay. I'm supposed to clean up the O up. The O up now will serve as our shoulder. So I've gone ahead now to clean it. So for our shoulder measurements here, what do we have? We have seven. Why for the arm O? We have arm O for this. We have 7.75. We have 7.75 for this armhole, and this is what we have for the shoulder. So go ahead now and mark your shoulder 7.75. This is the shoulder measurement now. 7.75 7 minus 7 inches, we have 7.5. We have, sorry, 0.75. We have 0.75. So now what you are going to do now is to mark this is the middle of the dress. This line here is the middle of the dress. It is folded into two. Now we mark our shoulder now, seven inches. So on both sides now, on both sides of our shoulder, your shoulder is divided into two, right? So when you divide seven by two, you have 3.5. So on this part of our shoulder now, we have 3.5. On this part of the shoulder, we have 3.5 inches. I if you don't get it, please drop your question. We have 3.5 inches and we have 3.5. That is for the shoulder measurements. Your shoulder is 7 divided by 2. We have 3.5, 3.5. Now, what we want to take now for the neckline is 0.75. From this middle point now, if your fabric is folded into 2, you now measure 0.75. That is what you have now. Now, for the neckline now, we have... 7.75 and for the shoulder we have 7. We've gone ahead to the doctors. We just need 0.75. So that 0.75 now is what you are going to mark at this point from your midpoint. So from your midpoint to here, you are going to have point, 0 0.75. 0 0.75 for the wideness. For the wideness of the neck. Now, for the deepness of the neck, it all depends on you. However, bear in mind that children's deepness of dress are usually very small. So you can do 0.75 already for the wideness. You've done 0.75 already for the wideness. Now, for the deepness, you can do 0.4. So you just get your curve. This is it. So by the time you also do the same, so this is your midpoint now. Mark your 7 0.75 and for the deepness also four connect it together you can see what you have the neckline so let me go ahead now and clean up this part you can see the neckline already you can see your neckline 0 0.75 0 0.75 0 0.75 you have your neckline this is what it looks like so for your neck to waist the neck to waist we did neck to waist neck to waist is from this shoulder now to this waistline 
this shoulder to the waistline so if you have dress that you want to make ball dress you need your shoulder to waist this is what you have here and this lower part you have your ball dress effect So for that lower part now, you have your ball dress effect. So that is basically like the simple illustration to explain this the best way I can. You can see that the video is even too long already. So that is the reason why I am splitting the videos into different series. And I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Please go ahead and patronize and get your size chart. You can imagine how detailed your size chart is going to be if you really understood this. You can imagine how detailed the size chart is with just this little tip I've given you. Children's size charts are available, female size charts are available, male size charts are available. All the links are going to be in the description box below. I cannot lay the emphasis enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please join us on Facebook, CG Designs, on Instagram, CG Designs, and also visit our website. All the details are going to be in the description box. Once again, I love you all. Bye. <laughs>